gentleman approached me to explain that actually one of his legs is rotting. And this is a condition that he cannot do anything about. He showed me actually his leg and you can actually see that the leg is rotting. The leg, which one? Left one. The left one. Let me see. This leg is rotting. Yeah. Oh, I will touch it from the screen. Leg, you are rotting. But I say, life come. Son of the living God, heal your child. Be healed. In Jesus' name. That's it, you are healed. Bye bye. It's coming. Can you see this? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Thank you, Jesus. Go, baby, you are healed. Look at this. Jesus said, Uchesuati. Hold it. Iman. You say this man every time, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What's your problem? That's my problem. And it's my solution. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Eh, what is it? Hey, yo. Jesus said, Uchesuati. If you believe, Umaukolo. The works I do, you will do. Greater, greater works than this, you will do. Because I go unto my Father. Hey, hey, hey. You see there. You're Just as I am with Reverend Tim Omotosho. It had been a long time that I was living with this leg which was uh, swollen. And I've lost a lot of things in my home because of this leg. My leg was swollen. Yes, I've, I've gone to hospital and they've carried out operations on my leg. And, and, and eventually the Eddington Hospital doctor said they're going to amputate. Now, because of the doctors wanting to amputate my leg, I took the matter further and I consulted several sangomas and they told me that I must slaughter cows. So I slaughtered all the cows that I had until I was left with nothing. I'm trying to call it. So six. Six cows in total. All these cattle that I was using, these cows, were actually from my family because we actually have them at home. But just for stepping my feet into this place, the man of God helped me a great deal. The man of God didn't touch me. He touched the screen. and he prayed on the TV using the screen he was touching my leg but I say life come son of the living God heal your child be healed in Jesus name now you must understand He's saying he was standing where he was standing when he was praying and the man God was touching his leg on the screen. He was feeling the pain on his leg and the pain lasted up until midnight. At 12 o'clock, and by midnight, 12 o'clock, the pain disappeared.
Now I'm healed. I'm totally healed. I'm alive. And I never even went back to the doctors who wanted to amputate my leg because I'm healed. Now you came here in September last year you had a problem what was your problem I had a problem with my leg Was it so ago 16 It had been 16 years that I'd been suffering from this problem Oh na umlenzi Oh bolile umlenzi I would just practically say my leg was rotten Okay before you came here you'd gone to the hospital okay. What did they tell you I went to Eddington Hospital and they told me they're going to amputate that leg. And sure, which one? Which leg? They want to ask some man like you, they want to cut your leg. <laughs> Thank you.